check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. How's it going, guys? Electron Man. Well, we got another one, cool one to do. Uh, definitely a, another kind of an unusual one. Um, I've got a Uniden Grant XL here, uh, sideband rig from Uniden. But uh, as you can tell, she's gonna need a lot of work. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Well, we'll see what we can do to resurrect her. Um, it uh, looks like it's been sitting in water face down. So on this guy, before I even start to uh, plug anything up to it, I'm going to go ahead and pull the covers and uh, and do some internal cleaning there. Um, see if there's any uh, mineral buildup on the circuit board, etc. I mean, all in all, if you look at the rest of the radio, it's really, you know, other than it looks like, like I said it's sitting in a swamp. I mean, there's not any... The case looks good on it as far as no dents or nothing. Um, the, uh, <laughs> it's just super, super, super uh, soaked, it looks like to me. Um, I don't know, you know, uh, we'll give this a 50-50, huh? We'll see how it goes. I, uh, I'd really like to get it running. Oh, it's, it's missing this knob too, but I can I can find a replacement for that. But uh, I'm so tempted just to plug it up, but I know the right thing to do in this situation is to go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and pull the covers and see how bad it looks on the inside and uh, kind of go from there. So I'll be back. Let me get these covers pulled and we'll, uh, we'll take a look at what we've got inside. Hey guys, if you look at the back of this, or actually the inside of this radio, I'm really shocked. Um, it's as bad as it looks on the outside. I don't see any water damage. I don't see any that any water has touched the circuit board in any way or form. Um, same on the inside here. I mean, I mean, look at this dirt and dust and everything off of this case. But then when you get inside the radio itself, I mean, it looks really good. It's interesting. It's got a variable knob of some sort here. I'm guessing maybe variable power was installed in it. It must have replaced something. I don't think that that's factory. I don't think they had variable power on uh, factory radios. But uh, anyway, I'm, I have hope for it now. A lot more hope now than I did. Um, I tell you, I think I'll... Uh, first thing I'm going to do is do a real good cleaning job on it. And uh, then we'll come back and uh, see what we got. Um, I'll make this kind of a short preview video of... Uh, of the next one and you can see uh, what we can uh, turn this guy around and see if we can actually get this thing back up and working. I haven't even plugged it. I'm not going to until I do a little more uh, making sure that uh, nothing's short. Now I'm kind of worried about as bad as this is, how I'm going to go ahead and pull the front off of it and take a look at the front there and see if uh, there's any water damage on any of the stuff up front. Again, I don't just don't want to turn it on and short it out if, uh, if it just needs to be uh, demineralized from all the gunk and stuff that it obviously i don't know maybe it's set in a tractor or something and it got weathered on the front of it but uh i'm just not sure on this it's kind of a kind of an oddball here but uh anyway let me go ahead and stop the video here and we're gonna do some uh some pulling apart and see what we got okay guys check it out i got the face off of it and uh oh it was nasty back there i should have shown it before i cleaned it all up but i uh, i've uh Used some isopyl alcohol and uh, scrubbed it down and got her pretty clean. These knobs, some of them were almost impossible to get off. They had literally rusted to the shafts. It's like the very front of this radio had set in water, but the rest of the radio didn't. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. But uh, anyway, uh, we went ahead and we cleaned everything up front there and, uh, you know, got as much crud out of it as we could, blew it out, and put some uh, deoxid in all the all the potentiometers and uh, cleaned all the switches and uh, went ahead and powered her on and uh, we'll show you, check it out. The meter doesn't work, but it lights up. Now, that's as far as I know now. Unfortunately, this uses a five pin mic and for, I cannot believe it, but I do not have a five pin mic plug anywhere to even wire a mic up. So I had to order some, so I'm waiting for them to come in. So. I'm going to go ahead and uh, post this video as part one, and when I get a mic connector so I can wire up a mic for this radio, we'll go into in-depth to see if it works at all. Um, I figured since it, you know, doesn't show any damage on the circuit board, I cleaned all the front of it, and it actually powers up and everything's lighting up like it should, it's worth pursuing. So, 
as we stand right now as soon as I get the uh, five pin mic and get something wired up to see how the mic does we'll see if it actually functions I'm kind of I'm kind of shocked to be honest I didn't really think this thing had a chance in the world of a uh, working but somehow or another it managed to uh, the water did not get really inside of the radio it just it just the whole front of the radio got saturated in whatever it was and uh, you know that front cover I don't know what I'm gonna do with that but uh, we'll, we'll take one step at a time right now I need to get a five pin mic so I can wire up a mic and see if it transmits and receives uh, right now I'm not really sure if it does either so kind of excited it uh, it's moving along pretty good and uh, we have some hope that this thing's uh, gonna turn out to be a pretty cool little radio I mean basically it's really kind of like a 148 real close I mean it's a it's a sideband uh, unit in I think it's probably the same basic chassis as, as a 148 so if we can get her going it definitely be worth the trouble anyway guys have a great day if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and hit that little bell so that you know when the next video comes up on this guy this is Electron Man